is episode three of the summer vacation sewing series that I'm doing in collaboration with Talisha of Creativity by T. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. If you haven't already been following this series, this series is a summer vacation sewing series where Talisha and I are bringing you two garments every Sunday that are perfect for your next summer vacation. These are essential items, okay? This series is for the mature and sophisticated woman. We are bringing you classy yet comfortable stylish outfits that are going to be perfect for your next summer vacation. So if you're looking to be inspired on what you should be sewing up this summer, please continue to watch the series. Please check out the videos that we've already uploaded. The links to those videos will be listed below. And today's video is actually the essential summer pants. Now, in my opinion, the essential summer pair of pants is going to be a pair of pants that I can wear to the beach, okay? Something that's comfortable, something that blows in the wind, and something that will look good with flip-flops, but I can also throw on some heels and maybe change up my top, and it can be a going out pair of pants that I can wear to a nice dinner or a nice lunch. That is my idea of the essential summer pair of pants, okay? In today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing with you the Simplicity 8558, and this is a wonderful pattern. It is a four-piece pattern. I'll insert pictures so that you can see what this looks like up close. In this pattern, you have a pair of shorts, you have a pair of pants, you have a tank, and you have a blazer, okay? Now, for this video, I'm only going to be sharing with you the pants. However, I do want to let you know that I have cut out the jacket and I cannot wait to sew it up because it's going to be perfect for my next summer vacation. Before I get into the review of this video, I do want to encourage you to please, 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 after you watch this video, head over to Talisha's video so that she can give you her essential summer pants pattern and tell you what all the good things are about her particular selection. She's talented, she's funny, she's creative, she's so stylish, and I know that she's going to inspire you to make something really fabulous. So after you watch this video, head over to her channel and watch her video as well. And also, subscribe to her channel. You will love her content, okay? please subscribe to her channel and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, especially if you've been to my channel before in the past and you haven't subscribed. It does help me out if you do not only give me a thumbs up, but also subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get into this review. This particular pattern is rated as average and I would definitely agree with that. I am going to be talking about the pants today. However, I have cut out the fabric to make the blazer and I'll be making that later and sharing my review of the blazer in a another video in the future. But for the for these pants, there's no buttons, there's no zipper. It is elastic waistband, which makes it pretty simple to put together. It has a total of five pattern pieces. We have the front leg, the back leg, the waistband, we have the pocket piece and the drawstring piece. My particular pair of pants, I chose not to use the drawstring piece and I just did three channels of elastic. If you've never put together an, a pair of pants that had an elastic waistband, it does explain to you pretty well what you need to do in order to create the waistband for these pants. So I would say that yes, this is an average, pretty simple sew for anyone, whether you just got started sewing or you're a seasoned sewist. Now the fabric that I chose to use for this particular pattern is a rayon linen blend and friends, I have purchased lots of rayon linen blend because it's gorgeous and it's perfect for summer. I'll be sharing some things that I'll be making with those fabrics in the future. But for this particular pair, it is the most unique pair of rayon linen that I've ever purchased. I'll pull it up close to the camera so that you can see what I'm talking about. But this particular pair of pants is very textured and bumpy. So as you can see, it has these really great stripes on it. We have a darker blue, a lighter blue, and we have white. And each of these woven lines in this fabric is bumpy. You can see the weave on this pants and it's very, very beautiful. One thing I do want to say about this particular fabric is that it is slightly sheer. So it's perfect for summer pants and it's going to be very comfortable and breathable. However, you may want to wear a nude underwear when you wear this particular fabric, which I actually purchased from fabric.com. And I believe that it was extremely affordable because I ended up buying five yards 
with the intent of making both the pants and the blazer. And I actually purchased this fabric last year. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I didn't get around to sewing it up last summer. So this is the summer for this particular outfit. And I cannot wait to wear this on my next summer vacation. For this pattern, I chose to make a size 16. And I generally will make my pants based off of my waist measurement rather than my hip measurement. That being because my hip measurement is much smaller than my waist measurement. I'm thicker in the middle, okay? So I find that it's easier for me to make sure that I have a comfortable fit in my waist and then I can just make alterations in order to make any pair of pants fit my hips. Now this particular pair of pants is not a form-fitting pair of pants. It's very loose and flowy and comfortable. So I didn't have to worry about making too many alterations. I did, however, modify this pattern in one way, and that is in the center channel of this waistband, you are supposed to have a tie feature. And I'll insert a picture of the pattern so that you can see what that looks like. There should be a drawstring inserted into the center of this waistband that you can cinch in and tie. I personally don't find those to be very comfortable or flattering on my body. For one reason, I find that when I have a drawstring that I have to tighten and loosen throughout the day, it kind of gets on my nerves. I do find that after moving around and walking around and doing things, often that tie will shift so it's not perfectly centered or it just gets loose and I have to retie it every time I go to the bathroom. And I just don't like dealing with that. So I chose to do three channels of elastic instead. Now, my, in theory, this should have been the perfect solution for these particular pair of pants. However, I decided to use elastic that I had in my stash already, which was just a little scotch too small for the channels. Now for the bottom channel and the center channel of the waistband, the elastic, there was no issue. It didn't move, it didn't twist. It seems to be very flattering, lays pretty straight in there. However, with this top channel, I don't know if I just didn't space it out enough. Um, there seems to be extra space in this top channel. So in the front, it lays nice and flat. However, in the back, I found that the elastic likes to twist and move. And rather than tacking it down on the sides, which is what I should have done on the side seams of the waistband, I tacked it down in the middle so that it would stop rolling around, which created a bit of a dip. So if it drives me crazy enough, I will absolutely unpick the waistband and remove that top row of elastic maybe replace it with the appropriate width of elastic for that channel um, to fix that from twisting around. But I'll be honest with you, it doesn't bother me too bad. And I've been wearing it the way it is. And um, I don't think anyone seems to notice but me. However, it is something that I do have regrets about what I did and it's definitely an easy fit. I do believe that my pair of pants looks like the pattern cover. It fits my body, very flattering, just like it fits Mimi G on her pattern cover. I chose to pair it with a tank top that has a wider strap and it's a bit tight looking on me in these photos because underneath that tank top, I actually have on a swimsuit, which is hugging your girl in real tight, okay? <laughs> so you can see I have a little extra meat and it looks a little bit tight, but that's okay. I'm most perfectly comfortable wearing it. And for me, the essential summer pants is going to be a pair of pants that I can layer, right? I can wear it over a swimsuit. I can wear it with a blouse. I can wear it throughout the whole day to transition from morning activities to evening activities, and that might include going to the beach and getting in the water. So I think it's okay that I paired it with these pants and that tank top on top, but in the future, it probably will fit and look a little nicer and different if I did not have a swimsuit hugging me in real tight underneath that tank top. But I definitely think that it's flattering. I think it looks very much like the pattern cover and I'm very excited about the way it came out. I also wanna note that when I created my waistband, I was praying that I could get this perfectly lined up and straight in the waist because of the lines. And I think I did a pretty good job of that. So I'm proud of how that looks as well. The instructions for this pattern are very easy to follow and understand. I don't think that a beginner would struggle with putting together this pair of pants based off of how of the instructions were written. So I encourage anyone who is interested in making this pattern to go ahead and give it a try. I highly recommend this pattern to everyone. I enjoyed sewing it very much and I definitely have plans to make more versions. I think in the future I'll use solid colored fabric because I'll be able to mix and match and pair it with more things. However, I do 
think that the fabric that I chose is perfect for summer. I mean, look at these colors. It screams beach vacation, and that's exactly how I plan to use these pants is on my next beach vacation. So what I love is that they are lightweight and flowy and very comfortable and beautiful. I do plan to make the blazer, and I think that these pants with the matching blazer is going to be a perfect look if you are someone who is looking for a summer essential pair of pants that looks good not just on your casual activities, but also you can wear to work. I think this is a good pattern. You can pair this with tennis shoes or sandals or heels to elevate them and to make them look more dressy when you transition between your activities. And also if you top it with that blazer, it'll be an easy transition from doing something casual to now you can go to dinner or now you can go to a nice restaurant for lunch. So I definitely recommend this pattern as the perfect summer vacation sewing pair of pants as well as outfit. If you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel and please make sure that you head over to Talisha of Creativity by T's channel. I want you to check out her essential pair of pants and also subscribe to her channel. I truly appreciate you and I definitely encourage you to watch our previous videos for this series. And next weekend is actually the very last episode in the series where we will be sharing with you the perfect essential summer dress. I think you're going to love that video, so please do stay tuned. Come on back to my channel and Talisha's channel to check out the dress that we chose to make for our essential summer dress. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a fantastic summer. Bye.